Welcome to the video on how archiving to ECS works with Isilon Cloud Pools, part of the Cloud Pools to ECS video series. Cloud Pools is an Isilon feature that extends the 1FS namespace to the cloud while maintaining client and application access. In this video, we will describe how the archive process to an ECS cloud target works and then see it on a live system. We will also walk through accessing the archive data to show that it is fully transparent to users and applications. Let's start off by discussing what happens when we archive files to ECS. In order to optimize performance of objects being sent to the cloud, files are split into one megabyte chunks called cloud data objects. If a file is less than one megabyte in size, the CDO size is equal to the size of the file. If configured in the file pool policy, the objects will be encrypted and compressed before being moved to the ECS cloud. ECS provides high levels of storage efficiency and data protection by compressing, erasure coding, and distributing the cloud data objects across the ECS nodes in the virtual data center. If configured, ECS can also encrypt and protect against site-wide disasters by automatically replicating the cloud data objects to other ECS sites. After a file's data has been archived to the cloud, the file on the Isilon system gets truncated to an 8K SmartLink file. Each SmartLink file contains metadata that records archive details, a local data cache, and a map pointing to the cloud data objects. Data archived to the ECS system by cloud pools is accessible only through the Isilon cluster using SMB, NFS, HDFS, and SWIFT protocols the data cannot be accessed directly from the ECS system. The SmartLink files provide users and applications transparent access to the archive data. Client and application access continues unchanged when cloud pools are in effect. The only difference in accessing an archive file would be the increase in time to retrieve it from the cloud. Now that we have discussed what happens, let's look at a live system to see it for ourselves. We have already configured cloud pools and a custom policy that defines what files we want archived to the ECS system. Before we run the archive job, let's look at the files in the directory we will be archiving. We can see these are regular files that haven't been archived because they do not have the smart linked flag on them. We can also see that the ECS3 admin guide PDF is using 4.2 megabytes of space on the Isilon system. Let's also look at the files from our Windows system, which has mapped the Z drive to the Isilon clusters file system. Now let's start the archive job manually so we can see the space savings on the Isilon system, as well as how the archive data is accessed. Now that the files have been archived to the ECS system, we see that the files are smart linked files. We can also see that the ECS3 admin guide PDF only takes up 26k on disk instead of the previous 4.2 megabytes the pre-archived file consumed. We can see that our access to the files is unchanged, continuing to allow us to both view and edit files from our Isilon file system mapping. By configuring Isilon Cloud Pools and ECS, we have a massively scalable, enterprise-grade storage solution with extremely high levels of storage efficiency and resiliency. This concludes this video on how archiving to ECS works with Isilon Cloud Pools. For more information on Cloud Pools, check out our other videos as well as the Isilon Cloud Pools and ECS Solution Guide. Thank you.